Researchers with the U.S. Forest Service are attempting to bring back the American elm through a study in the Chippewa National Forest. As Mel Meyer reports near Big Fork, the site will hopefully produce seeds that are resistant to Dutch elm disease that decimated the iconic American tree. Since the disease was introduced in the 1930s, the number of American elms was quickly decimated. Chippewa National Forest staff worry that if emerald ash borer beetles made their way to the area, it would kill off the ash trees that have since replaced the elm. Without trees present, that site will just flood and we'll probably get grass and, and shrubs there on those sites. They met with a team from Ohio to answer the question. If we lose the ash, what can we get onto the forest that uh, will provide the ecosystem a service that the forest is looking for. They came back to the elm. By crossing seeds from known disease-resistant trees and species able to tolerate the cold, they're looking to create a durable crossbreed. After years of cultivation on three different plots, the trees are ready to be put to the test. They've finally reached a stage where you know they're robust enough to get a to get tested out for Dutch elm disease tolerance. They've injected the trees with fungal spores in order to see if they're able to survive once again. Mm -hmm. An exciting what if for these researchers. Even if the ash borer never does arrive, restoring the, the elm on the forest is definitely going to have a lot of benefits. By diversifying the forests, either wetland forests or upland forests, we'll be able to add that component back into the mix. The research team will be back here in eight weeks to check on their results. In the Chippewa National Forest, I'm Mel Meyer, Lakeland News. If any survive the test, they'll be able to grow the seeds into seedlings or plant them directly into the National Forest. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.